And that, that, let us give it a shot. Let's start out a game called Elix Patterns. A Unity game. Oh, you know what? I didn't actually change my stream title. One second. So let's uh, let's do that real quick. LX patterns. Game sixty three. It is not a mature game, so I'll have to take take off the mature title from the last game. Patterns it is. Let's do this. Wait, that's not. Did I mess up? What game number this is? Not game. One second, I made a mistake, I think. Uh... Oh, it turned off the, uh, it turned off the mature rating once I changed my stream. Oh, awesome, thank you. So... However, I, I think I might have labeled it wrong. One second. I think this is game number 61, right? That's oh, all right, I'll fix it later. Alrighty. Let's get into some patterns. So it's got a level select, nice. New game, settings. Dark theme, absolutely. Um, play. All right, here we go. Oh, okay, I see. I, I wasn't sure what I was actually trying to solve. The painted square advances one into the next pattern and returns to the beginning at the end. That's what I saw. For some reason, I thought I was doing all three of these. I'm like, why is there only one? There is not. Yeah, that one moves to here, moves to here. That's the pattern I saw anyway. So this one now, uh, it, it cheated and it showed me in the trailer as the number eight. But zero, you add one. Then you add one to make two, then you add one to make three, and then you add two to make five, and then you add three to make eight. Alright. So this plus it's pointing here to the negative here. So the wherever it's Wherever, it, so you want down and to the right. There. Because opposite of the negative is where the, the line is, or the positive is pointing at the line. All right, so this one was in the trailer too, right? Maybe, I don't know. Um, so, it's, um, this rotates 90 degrees to point here. This is a mirror image of that one. This rotates 180 degrees. This one went 90 degrees. I don't think it's this, is it? I'm sorry, not that. This. It is. Vertical flipping. Oops. Anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four and six. All right, so circle in a square, triangle in a circle, square in a triangle. Square in a circle. So what happens is, this is probably triangle in a square, right? Triangle in a square and then Circle and a triangle. Yep. So blue moves to the right. Yellow moves to the right. They both move down. So they both move right. They both move down. They both move right. They both. Okay, right, down, 
right. This one is right, down, right. And this one is right, down. So this will be blue and this will be yellow. Advance, down, advance, yeah. Oh boy, here we go. Letters. So this is going to be a three letters. So A, B, C, D. Wait, where'd D go? A, B, C, D. So A, B, C, C, D, E, F, G, H. So it just advances one letter. That's all it does, is advance one letter. So it's D, I, Q. Two times two equals four. Um, three mi minus one equals two, what? That's, what's that line there? Four plus one equals five. I mean, is this just simple math? Like, other than this weird line here, it doesn't make sense. Other, other than that, everything is just simple math. I could try 6 and 6. Oh, I mean, sorry, 9 and 6. Just to see if it'll accept it. Okay, so it's not just simple math. This, this weird line means something. Divided by? 3 divided by 1 equals 2? Three over one. Two times two equals four. How's it going, by the way, Nick? Welcome to the stream. We uh, we just started this game. <laughs> I'm doing all right. I'm doing a lot of work on my house outside, so I haven't had much of a time as much time to stream lately. But I'm able to stream tonight. There are sixty puzzles, and this is just a game on patterns. And we're on puzzle nine out of the sixty. This is the first one that I've come across that doesn't make sense with that weird line. Because normally a divided by line is facing the opposite direction, right? It's a forward slash, not a backslash. So this, this is a little weird. How are you doing? Were you able to do some more Mario Kart Mario Karting tonight or something? Three divided by one equals two, of course. <laughs> it does, right? No? <laughs> so, uh, what do we got going on for real here? Did I do that backwards, like nine and six? No. Okay, just making sure that I didn't actually like reverse those on accident. Mario Kart 64 tonight. Nice. Did you uh, inc improve any of your times? What stages were you working on? What uh, what courses? So, can I do like 2.5? Okay, you get one number. So there's only a 99, what, 100 different choices or something? If you don't count zero, so fewer than 100. So I could just brute force my way in, but that's that's not the spirit of this game. 2 times 2 equals 4. What is this thing doing? Other than being a silly subtraction sign. Four, two, five, three, four, two. I could try three and two. Nope. More Fraps No Land and Toad's Turnpike. Oh, great. Are you, did you improve by like half of a second or did you improve by like two or three seconds? Maybe a full five seconds? That would be impressive. I know some of your times on those were getting to the point where if you improve by one second, that's a grand feat, right? Except for Toad's Turnpike. Toad's Turnpike, I feel like that one, that one's such a roll of the dice, right? Whether or not there's a bus in your way at any given time. We've already finished two games tonight. Both of them are about an hour long each. 
give or take. Uh, what's going on here, honestly? I'm not really noticing the pattern on this one. And each one is a single digit. I proved that, but I could type in a bunch of stuff and it's only one. One number allowed. Five minus four equals five minus one equals four. Cause all of these are logical sense. All of these equate to what they are in real life. Wait, 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 wait. Does it have to do with like Because here's an X, and then they remove part of the X. Here's a plus, and then the plus turns 90 or 45 degrees. Here's a minus, and they remove, they add to the minus. Lots of room for improvement on both tracks, no doubt. You had big improvement on FRAP. Oh, interesting. I thought the Toad's Turnpike would be improved more. But I didn't really actually, I saw you play Toad's Turnpike. Uh, I mean, FRAP Snowland more than I saw you play Toad's, so that was foolish on me to think that I knew how well you did Toad's Turnpike or not. I haven't seen you do much of that one. This one's got me a little stumped. It's only puzzle number nine. We're currently in the beginners. <laughs> Can I actually type a letter in here? No, okay. It's only numbers. Only numbers. What is it trying to tell me with that? I feel like if we can determine what it's trying to tell me with this, that could possibly unlock. Because can I do zero? Okay, I can do zero. And I can't do negative. Okay, well, I can do, I can do negative, but I can't add to it. I can't do a decimal. I can only do negative. Interesting how they allow the negative. I wonder if they missed that. Um, okay, that's not that. I was thinking adding one and subtracting, but the the logic on this is m messing with me. Something's not making sense about it. So I could brute force my way through it with only, I don't know, 81 different combinations. Actually, there is a, there is 100 because I can use zeros. It's 9 over 6. Yeah, yeah, I did. 9 over 6. And I feel like it's, I feel like these are all legit right here. Legit, legit, legit. And this, I don't know what that's trying to tell me here. What is that trying to tell me? I feel like if we can determine what that's trying to tell me, it may unlock the following two. Oh, wait, 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 wait. So this four jumps down to here and this five jumps down to here. But does that, that doesn't, this two jumps down to here. So, but then this two should be right here, right? That can't be a pattern, right? I don't think it's two and, cause that two would end up here and I don't know, two and two? No, I didn't think so. Maybe it's just two and six. 
Yeah, this one's, uh, this one's got me. Who thought that this was a good pattern? <laughs> this is not a logical pattern. And then, of course, whenever we find out what the real answer is, we'll be like, oh, okay, I get it now. I still don't get why they did this. Um, what do you say we brute force this one, right? <laughs> I just can't, I can't think of what that, some, what that symbol means. Uh, more like 90,000, but yes, <laughs> whatever works, other than just like looking up all the answers. 6-8, why? The signals rotate 45 degrees clockwise. I told you what they rotated, but... Oh, you rotate this, and then you rotate this, and then you rotate this. Really? I told <laughs> I told you it had something to do with turning them, but I didn't think to turn these guys. This was just to prove that the math all is true and there's nothing funky going on with the math. Okay, well, that's one of those, oh, okay, like I told you. Okay, anyway. So we got spade, club, diamond, upside down heart. So, I was on the right track, yeah, I, I know. So the spade and the club, the diamond and the heart, so everything flips upside down and turns. So that means it's heart here and, oops. Club there. Scoops the same colors are grouped and suits with different colors are reversed. I didn't quite catch that they were reversed. I was just fiddling with them to have them pointing the same as each other. And diamond being symmetrical, you kind of had to pick which way is the heart supposed to go. But having reversed black versus red makes sense. 21, 22, 42, 13. That one was easy. Alright, so 0 is up, 2 is down, 3 is left, 4 is up, 7 is left. That means this is 9, then there's 10, and then 12. Every time it spins, it adds 1 to the number every 90 degrees. All right, so. Oh, this one it showed me in the trailer. You just connect all the dots. So this one connects here, which connects here, connects here, connects here, and connects there. Now I'm a bit sad that I saw a couple of the answers on the trailer, but there's 60 of them, so. All right, so this is 33, 32. So, 333, 332. I was going to say the amount of colors in the flag, but no, that's not correct. Is there a value to the colors, maybe? Amount of different colors in the flag. So, this is 2, 
253. 243. 253? 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 4. 254. Level up! Hooray! Number of different colors in each flag. Alright. Positive. Oh boy. So we gotta figure out the third number in each of these rows, right? Or columns. Yeah, third number in each of the rows. So... We go plus, minus, plus, minus, 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 plus, plus, minus, plus, plus, plus. Okay, this one's going to be tricky. What's it trying to tell me? I'm assuming that these four go here because that's where the question mark is. Even though, I, and I would, I would have put like a blank one here and a question mark in each of the empty squares. That would be easier to read. But either way, the minuses and the pluses have absolutely everything to do with this. But that's such a drastic jump. Like the 2 to the 3 to the 7. The 3 to the 1 to the 7. It does seem really arbitrary right now. Um, does it have to do with vertical like do they correspond with each other or are we just going from left to right here so hmm I'm assuming it's just one number, right? Yeah. So we have four different types. We have plus, minus, plus, minus, 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 plus, plus, minus, and plus. And so none of them are the same. So let's take the two pluses, right? If it's a plus, it goes... So this plus adds... It goes to three from seven. Seven. Hmm. This one's going to be less easy to just muscle through because there's a thousand, ten thousand different options it could be. <laughs> I don't know if I want to try all ten thousand options. I'd rather try to figure it out. Unlike the last one that only had a hundred options. Hmm. It makes me wonder if it's, is it considering this to be the number 255 in the positive? Every set of three has two of the same number. Really? 
I did start noticing duplicates, but what I was noticing was the duplicates on opposite ends. So when it's positive, the, the duplicate number is odd. And when it's negative, no, it's still odd. That is a good notice. So um, positive is 55 here, negative is 22 here. So the positive and negatives don't seem to correlate to anything, though, at the moment. So if it has a duplicate number in every one. So if it's positive, it's like the two du the duplicates are on the right, duplicates are opposite. So duplicates are on the right. Duplicates are on the right, opposite. And they'd be on the right, opposite, right, and I would say that one's on the right, opposite, opposite, and opposite. Boom! <laughs> so close, right? <laughs> so we have to find the logic of the plus and the minus then, right? That's the case. That's a good catch, though, with every set has a duplicate number. So what's the positive and negative got to do with it, though? Being that's the case, there are much fewer combinations of duplicate numbers to push through. <laughs> you just tried that. <laughs> Maybe this one's wrong. Um, or every single row has... Um, so this is on the right, opposite. Opposite, opposite. So that one be on the right. So this one should be seven, actually, because it has each row has two opposites, right? Opposite, opposite. Opposite, right, opposite, that should be nine. Did I do it wrong? No, then this one should be three. Is everyone still wrong? Yeah, that one should be seven. No! So that logic's gone, where each row had two opposites and a set on the right. Um, what do the negatives and positives mean then? I don't quite get what the negatives and positives mean. Yes, that's exactly my thoughts. What are the purposes of the positives and the negatives? I feel like this one we could beast through. Now that we know the logic of the... So let's try a 7, 7, 9, 0. We'll try 3. Okay. Oops. Okay, so what is it? Keep the largest number in the third column, plus keeps the largest number in the third column, minus keeps the lowest number in the third column. Sure. I guess uh I guess that is true, right? We wouldn't have been figured that out though if we hadn't noticed, or shall I say if you hadn't noticed that there was a duplicate. Alright. Al puts a line down here. Puts a line down here. That means that's U and E, right? No? 
There's a line down the middle makes AL. A line down the middle makes FH. A line down the middle makes LE. My bad. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I trust you. Um, all right. This is just a rotating, revolving puzzle. So 90, 90, same. Same, 90, 90. 90, 90, same. Same, 90, 90. 90, 90, same. Same. Is it 90? 90? 90? Third pattern, third knob is different. Position of the, th the different knob is the same as the pattern. Position of the different knob is the same as the pattern. Okay, I see what's going on. The rotation was actually not correct. This one has two straights and a vertical. And the vertical, this one shifts over and then it shifts over again. This one shifts over and then shifts over again. This one shifts over and shifts over again. Okay. All right. So this would be two and three, and this would be one and three, right? Oh, did it? No, three and one. Sorry. I got that backwards. Like Sudoku. That's not what I saw. I just saw the numbers shift over one. Like this goes to the end, this goes to the end, and this goes to the end. <laughs> I mean, Sudoku works too, I guess, right? <laughs> you get the same results with that same logic. <laughs> All right, here we go. This one's this one's quirky. So it's just the revolving colors, but they stay in the same. So it's going to be this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy, but the colors are going to switch. So as... So it's actually like green, yellow, and blue. They just turn different colors each time. All right, domino flips. Dominoes. So there's six, okay. So is it a... Because we got one, two... It's not a... Obviously it's not a four and a five. That'd be just too simple. What? <laughs> Keeps the highest number in the next. So the highest number is two, the highest number is two, but then the highest number is four. So it's irrelevant. These, the, you can you completely erase these and completely erase these and solve this one. And it just so happens that it follows domino rules. Just <laughs> simple. All right. So we have 11 through 15. Everything ends in a two. Everything starts with a three. Everything ends in a four. Everything starts in a five, right? So it would be 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. Yeah. Row number, column number. Column number, row number. Sure. Ooh. A, V, M. So it's upside down. So that would be V, D, O. No? No. Now what is that upside down? A, V, M. That's not a V. That's a T? That's not T. It's a W? What is... What is... Because it's just flipping it upside down, right? This flips upside down for A, V, M. What is that letter? I'm looking at my keyboard like... Y? It's not a Y. That can't be a Y, right? No. Pretty sure that's D and O. Pretty sure. 
Don't take numbers. Oh, it does take numbers. That doesn't look like any of those numbers, though, right? All right. Does it use symbols, too? No? No, it, it won't accept symbols. It's only letters and numbers. Okay. Yeah, none of them. Okay, so... What is that? <laughs> I mean, I feel like it's too simple of a puzzle. That's all it is. It's not ADO. It can't be ADO, right? What is that first one? I don't think it's T. Could be all like my N64 brain is like. <laughs> it's not 3DO, they're gone. 3DO, 3DO's gone. It's not a G, is it? Let's try them all. ADO. And if it's wrong, we'll know that D and O is incorrect. K. No. Oh. Is it zero? Is that is that a zero, not an O? What were some of the things I tried? Do I need to try all of them again? Like, like what else could that center one be other than D, right? Is the center one P, maybe? I, P, O? I realize there's hundreds and hundreds of combinations. Having numbers in the mix, too, kind of messes the logic up, up the potential theories get messed with. Wait a second. You notice A, V, and M are very similarly shaped. somewhat similarly shaped. <laughs> Turn my phone upside down and it <laughs> didn't help. <laughs> I 
I hadn't thought of that. I did think of looking at it sideways though, but that's not what the AVM does, right? What am I missing on this one? Is that is that middle one P Y P O? Y P D? It's not R, is it? Y R O? Can't wait to hear how this one's supposed to be solved. Maybe a combination of three numbers. Like nine six zero. Uh, this one's this one doesn't give you much to go on. It's this right here. This is really messing. Like I can't use the carrot. It's like almost looks like a carrot with a like a tree almost. Looks like we're working with <laughs> <laughs> can I copy paste that? Let's see if I can copy paste that. Nope. <laughs> Did it not work? Okay, well, actually I can copy paste, but it did not accept the U. <laughs> One, three, four. It's like the number of points in the shapes. So this is the only one that has a line going across, which makes me wonder why they even did that, right? Why would they, they, they could very well not have done that. Oh, wait. Wait. What if I shift it as well as reversed it? Like this actually first one becomes a Y. This is the only thing that makes sense. This gets flipped. But the problem is flipping any... The last one's an X. And this one's a K. You only flip letters with inverted lines. The only thing that made sense was the Y. It's the only way that that one could make sense at all. This, the... Because as soon as I saw that this was a line, like, they, they didn't have to flip that. You flip everything that is not straight. Okay. Sweden... Ver <laughs> right, is that Sweden? Forgive me if that's not Sweden. Um, so five, six, eight, six, eight, five. This is a combination of five, six, and eight. I mean, maybe that's just ser serendipitous, circum just happenstance that they share the same numbers in them. So six. Do these have values to the colors have values to them? Like if this is purple, yellow, and blue, if blue has a value of two, that means no, that can't. Blue has to have a value of one, right? If blue has a value, light blue has a value of one, then this has to be. Two and one, no. 
Blue has a value of 3. Red has a value of 0. Right? So, I don't know why it tells me the value of green. That's irrelevant, right? Let's try that first. Let's try values of colors first. So if light blue is a value of if light blue is a value of three, that means yellow or purple is one and two. No, they're both one. No, purple is two and yellow is one. That means dark blue is two. Did I say yellow was one? What if yellow was two and no, purple has to be... What if yellow was three? I'm confusing myself. So, red is... So, yellow is one. That means dark blue is two. So, dark blue is two, one is zero. So, that's three in the first one. Light blue is three. Purple is two. Yellow is one. So that's six, which is happens to be the same as this one. And then we have all of them in here, which is zero, one, two, three, two. Is eight? Is that or seven? Or is it eight? Did I do that wrong? Oops, three, six. Zero, three, two is five, one and two is eight. Yeah. So it's not the the colors don't have the values I'm assigning them. If red was zero. What if can light can purple be anything but but two? Can purple be one? Well purple can be one and yellow three. If purple is one and yellow is three. If purple is one and yellow is three, light blue is two, and red is one. Right? Purple's one and yellow's three. That means dark blue is one. I'm gonna say I'm gonna assume the middle one's six. Because it's the same colors. I, I could be on the wrong track completely, but um if purple's one and yellow is three light blue is two that means red is one if red is one then eight five six nope not eight five six um so what was i saying I'm gonna write this down. Actually, I think I can use Notepad. Yes, I can. I can use um. I can use stuff while stream because sometimes when I go to a different window, it cuts out my stream or cuts out my game. So let's see here. If yellow is three and purple is one, that means teal is two. If teal is two, then red has to be one. And if yellow is three, then blue has to be one. Let's try that. So six in the middle. If red is one, blue is one, and yellow is three is five, six. And then um, we can also double check that with this right here. Um, yellow three. Red one is four, blue one is five, teal two is seven. That's wrong. Uh, um, well, let's keep going anyway. So one for red, one for blue is two blue, teal is four, and eight. Yeah, that, that would be incorrect right there. Okay, so maybe it's not a value of colors. Maybe it's not. We're getting kind of close to the halfway point, though. I still feel like the colors are valued. 
Um, but interestingly, like purple and blue have the same value then. Because yellow is here, purple is dupli is doubled, but they're the same number. Um, which means red would have to have the same value as yellow and purple. If blue, because here. Yellow has to equal blue and red. Sorry, yellow has to equal purple and red. Which can't be true. That's not true. I think I'm on the wrong track. Hmm. Well, if it's 8, 6, and 5, we could just fix these up. There's only six different options, right? <laughs> okay, so it's not 5, 6, 8 in a different combination. It is something else other than 5, 6, and 8 together. Which means there's a value being assigned to these flags in a certain way. Um, and it's not the, it's not the com, it's not like the first one was just the amount of different colors in them. I swear that has it has to do with. What if one of them is valued at zero? I was assuming that they all had a value of more than zero. So what if like purple is worth, what if yellow is worth zero? That can't be because this would be a fraction. So what if purple is worth zero? That means If purple was worth zero, yellow has to be five, which means teal is one. Let's just try that. Let's just try that. So what if what if purple is worth zero? And why do they have green in only one of them? Um, so that means yellow has to be worth five. Teal has to be worth one. If teal's worth one, then red has to be two. And if yellow is five, that means dark blue also has to be zero. Uh, I don't like that, but we're going to try it. So seven, six, yellow is five, teal is one, seven. Nope. Wait, eight. Seven, six, eight. Because it says one of each color. Because what would... I, th I think we may have to find the, the comparison between like these, potentially these three here, or maybe... Because... Well, I mean, here's the difference. Like, watch, like purple, yellow, purple, purple, yellow, teal. Teal is one more than purple. You want to do that logic. Teal equals one more than purple. Which means teal has to be one or greater. Great. And and we we determined that teal is not one. Right. What was the other option? I, I, I didn't really mark it, did I, where... Um... The one where I, like, I have purple at zero here, then I had purple at one, but I didn't do the purple at two. So let's do purple at two and see if we messed up. So if purple is two, yellow is one. If 
Purple is two and yellow is one, that means teal is three. If teal is three, then red is zero. And if yellow is one, then blue is two. So that's the case. The bottom one will be blue is two, yellow is one. So three. And then this would be a duplicate from above at six. And this one has all of them at eight, right? So it's not. Okay, so purple cannot be zero, one, or two, but also can't be three. So then I'm on the wrong track, right? Does it have to do with the shapes? Like the horizontal lines versus vertical lines versus squares? And where does that get a value? And there's one circle. How am I going to value a circle without having seen it before? Other than comparing squares? Maybe I approached this wrong from the very beginning. Hmm. So what would give the top right one the value of 8? What would it, what would give it that? Top left is three sections within a flag. Plus two is five. Three sections. So this is three sections plus three. This is four sections plus four. Plus two, plus three, plus four. Yeah, it doesn't make sense going into here though. This is plus four. It has three sections. Plus four would be seven. Four sections plus three would be seven. Four sections plus two would be six. Right. Unless it uses a different modifier. Right, yeah, that's that's true. That is a pattern, but it doesn't follow through on the next row. Maybe it's based on the number of colors in it. Three sections plus two colors. Three sections plus three colors. Four sections plus four colors. Four sections plus two colors. Five sections plus three colors. Three sections plus two colors. Three sections plus three colors. Three sections plus three colors. Five sections plus four colors. Right? Five colors. Good observation. I didn't even consider the fact that there could be a fourth number. Not once did I think of that. Fascinating. Oh boy. So this shifts down, and then shifts down, and then shifts down, and then shifts down, shifts down, and then shifts down. This one's easy. That was super easy. All right, what do we got for pattern? So, um, victory, <laughs> success. So we have. I'm not sure if it's going horizontal, like a book, dropping a row each time, or if maybe you compare diagonals at all.
or is there a rotation going on here? So let's start with top left to bottom right. And by that, we drop over one, we add two, and then we take away four. This one just seems to rotate, but it's also one fewer, but then you add two. This one just seems to rotate. So, but that's, that's strange. Makes me wonder if I'm not supposed to read it that way. And is this an illusion? Is this one of those like eye illusions where it looks like this is not a diamond? It looks like it's like bulging out, like arched here and arched there. I think that's one of those just optical illusions. Not to mention that it's not perfectly diagonal. These lines do not, they're not coplanar. Like an envelope, right? It almost has, oh, I'm wondering if that's what's giving it the illusion. Uh, all right, so what do we got going on? Yeah, the illusion of the bulge. And I'm wondering if that, like I said, I'm wondering if that illusion comes from the fact that these triangles, I don't think are equal in some way. At least their positioning isn't equal even if the triangles themselves might be equal. That's so strange. <laughs> I gotta stop looking at the bulge. The bulging diamond. We're almost halfway. Alright. I haven't even tried anything yet. thinking. It's, it's really weird that no quantity changes here, right? There's no quantity change between here and here. But there's a quantity change in every other pattern going row to row, which is very strange. This one's curious. One thing I could try is just rotating some of the patterns that exist, like this guy's rotated. That guy. Oh, let's try rotating that guy. To here. Also this. And there's this guy here. Uh, 
So it doesn't look like it's any of the existing patterns that are rotated, right? So it's, it's, it's an entirely new pattern. What logic are we seeing here? We could also try to see if it's just a single one. Nope. Not a single. Opposing diamonds keeps the first pattern, inverts the second pattern. Keeps the first pattern and inverts the second pattern. What what's that look? What, what what's that what's that look mean? <laughs> uh, I'm not even understanding the answer to this one. In inverts This shifts down and that Oh inverts. No, don't get it. I don't get this one. <laughs> that's the exhaustion link. <laughs> is that that's not uh that's not a cell shader link like uh Wind Waker link. Is that is that from one of the, the handheld links or is that what kind of where'd that link emote come from? Ooh, we got values assigned to our rays of light. Our pick points here. Two hundred and ten, one hundred thirty one. It's three numbers, right? Yep. Okay, so two, one, zero. Those are low numbers for the amount of lines I'm seeing. Straight from the Result of Wind Waker. Nice. <laughs> awesome. I, I thought I recognized it being the cell shaded one. But it but I hadn't I haven't played that one, as I already said. So uh I'm not intimate enough to know that it exactly comes from that. But I have seen a couple of uh speedruns from Wind Waker. Wind Waker speedruns are crazy. And this way <laughs> his sister wakes him up. <laughs> So why do we have zero here? And why is this only a one on the third panel here? So this one here and this one here are the same exact shape. They're just twisted a little bit. It's rotated 190 uh, degrees, 180. Yeah, it's rotated 180 degrees from here to here. Not so much with this one. If it's a change between each one, how does the first one get its value? If it's comparing them to each other. But is it comparing them to each other? This zero throws me off because I was wondering if it was like, so this one here 
compared to this one has three lines in three new places, right? Like this line, this line, and this line do not exist in here. So it's three different ones. If you compare this one to this one, oh, it has two. Never mind. Never mind. There are two lines that share. But then it was like when it gets to this one, it actually is zero. How does it get zero? Hmm. This one's only got a thousand options. <laughs> I haven't even tried anything because I'm not sure what to try. Maybe I compare vertical. Maybe I don't compare horizontal. Maybe I compare vertical. The, the fact that these numbers are low really throws me for a loop here. Is it how many squares exist? Is my uh, is my stream flashing? It almost seems like my stream has been flashing every now and then. So let's let's see here. There's a square, a triangle, a triangle, and oh yeah, I don't know what that would be like. Uh, which side, what kind of shape is that? Two. Okay, so the stream looks good to you? Okay. So if it's just on my end, that's great. So there's only one type of shape in here. There's only... Well, no, that's not working because that's got th three... So I don't think it has to do with the types of shapes, right? Because that's a weird shape right there. Why is there a zero? Something tells me the answer is going to be all low numbers, like between zero and three, right? Like three, one, three, something like that. Or uh, two, two, two. Definitely not quite understanding this one. How the how the center one gets a three, how the top right one becomes zero. I've tried rotating them in my mind for whatever purpose. So here's interesting, like look at this one. This shape and this shape are almost identical. There's just one extra line going from here to here. That's the only thing that makes them different. Yet they're valued at the same. 
So since that's being the case, it almost seems like you're comparing them to something. Like to each other, or, or there's some kind of sequence that is involved. Otherwise, they, in theory, could be different. I don't know. Um, Um, I think I see something. Hold on a second. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, that can't be right. That can't be right. Oh, because that's zero. Never mind. Never mind. Um, one. One has to come from. On the top row, I think you see something in the side rails being touched by lines correspond with the numbers. The side rails being touched by lines. Ah, so it would be like two, two, zero. Good point. Number of straight lines in it. It was that simple, huh? Straight lines correlate to how many sides are being touched. Good call. I didn't even notice that. I was actually focusing on the shapes themselves inside, like a medium triangle, tiny triangle, square. Oh boy, upside down numbers. <laughs> uh, they're not just upside down though, they're rotated 180. So that's actually 7569, 3648, 5281, and 1721. So the largest number. Um, so you sub you subtract the red number, right? You just sub you just subtract the red number. That's eleven minus five. That's nine minus two. It's fifteen minus nine is six. And then eighteen minus six is twelve. Did I, did I do the math wrong? No, it's eighteen minus nine. And that's uh not minus nine. That's minus six, right? So that's uh. 15 minus 6. 15 minus 6. It's fun that you're letting me play along with the little as we progress. Yeah, I appreciate the appreciate the help. This is one that I don't mind uh, getting some help on. Hiring a hiring an NPC along my quest, so to speak. <laughs> but that one was pretty easy, where the red ones were inverted and negative. Um, okay, okay. What's it asking for? It's asking for a number. Okay, it's asking for a number. 
Um, better than Google. Oh well, yeah, Google is just not fun. So it's probably a two-digit number, but up to a three-digit three-digit number. Wait, what? Up to three? Because that's so we got four letters and sorry, six letters and four numbers. Oh, this one's weird. And we can either use one, two, or three numbers. Um, I don't know if this negative ever comes into play. I feel like it will some point. Not just yet, though. So what are we looking at? They are low in the alphabet. There's nothing higher than a G, H, I. There's nothing higher than an I. What is I? Is I 9? So it looks like it's just backwards. So this is like 35, right? Yeah, that, that was easy. <laughs> so you read this from left to right, and you read this from right to left. And each letter is the position in the alphabet. All right. So we're looking for double digit, double digit, double digit. So it should be a blank square in each of these. And that's what these are. And it takes a single number and not a letter. So there's 10,000 options. Alrighty, what do we got? It looks like, it looks like there's a repeating letter here. The four exists, the four exists, the three exists, the seven does not exist. However, these two add up to seven. These two add up to three. These don't add up to four. Um, where does the seven come from? was on to something um but the first one doesn't follow that pattern never mind the first one's a little weird and it's weird only because it doesn't have any zeros in it that's what's throwing me off That seven is so strange. At first, when if if you go from the um if you go from the bottom up, what I was doing was I was switching the zero and the two, and then adding that number together equals seventy. Switching the zero and the one, adding that number together equals thirty six. But then when you switch the 1 and the 4, you get 19. And you switch the 4 and the 2, you get 95. So that's, that's not the correct pattern.
And that and that's that's so strange though because the seven, like I said, the seven doesn't exist anywhere. Making it seem like you have to modify these numbers with each other. Like you use one set to modify another set. Whether it be addition, subtraction, I don't think multiplication or division. Likely not with these numbers. It's hard to do a multiplication or division because of... Well, it's hard to do division because of fractions and decimals, but multiplication is certainly more of an option. But... Yeah, this one's got me right now. Do I have to do something vertically? I, I, right now I've been thinking all horizontally, but what if something has to be done vertically? I don't want to think that's correct. It is after midnight though, so I probably should call it soon. I was hoping to reach the halfway point. Which is certainly not the halfway point of the game, just half of the puzzles. <laughs> the easier half. We'd finish intermediate and uh, go into advanced. And then after advanced is probably expert or something, or master. Hmm. Is there some kind of subtraction going on? That doesn't make sense as to how you get to the seven. I see something. So, bear with me on this one, but it doesn't, uh, this is only part of it where you have bottom two rows makes sense. Zero one plus 35. 
Well, 36. Twenty fifty. But that's that's the only that's catching me, but I agree, but there is something I just noticed where the zero and the three It doesn't that doesn't make sense. I'm trying to think like the zero and the three to the three. The um the one and the three to the four. The four and the zero to the four. But that that breaks that breaks here. Never mind about that, but like, I can, I can, I can justify a lot of different at, uh, approaches, but it only works for one or two of them. Not even three, just one or two. I can't even get to like three patterns. Let alone the four that we need. And that, the fact that I invert, inverting the first and adding it to the second works for two of them. It gets me hung up, like, maybe there's something to that. But it just doesn't seem to work. This makes me think, like, well, what if you in... Oh man, this one's weird. This could be a long game. <laughs> Get to the point where it's like a half hour per puzzle, you know, and there's 30 puzzles left. Um, I just noticed a pattern that works for three of them, but it only answers the first box. It doesn't even start to answer the second box, and that is, is that the second highest number is the first number here. The second highest number is the first number here. Second highest number is the first number here, but then we lose it. Seven messes everything up. So if we just if we just outright add those numbers together, like I've actually oh I got the I can actually um, incorporate. Oh. 
I can incorporate this as my uh you probably can't see it. Probably too tiny. This is my color combinations for the flag one that I was running. But if I uh so we have two four oh you can't see that. There it is. Two four five three four one oh five one oh three five oh two five oh even actually do it in Excel and make it bigger. But like what if we just add those two numbers together, right? Make it 77, 46, 45, and 52. What does that mean? What do those do for us? Nothing, right? That seven, man, that seven is messy. It's also tricky because it's the only one that isn't, like, I, I might have said it already, but it's the only one that isn't in the left side of the first two boxes. Like the three exists in here, the four exists in here, and the four exists in here. This seven, seven doesn't help us, that logic. It's like it's something else. What if we what if we uh flipped these two? Like thirty five and fifty instead, right? So it's like 24, 30, 24, 35, 41, 50, 10, 35, 02, 07. What does that mean? Keep thinking about how there are two of each number, zeros, ones, twos, and fours. So you're saying zeros, ones, twos, fours, zeros, threes, fives. Zero, one, two, four, zero, three, five, five, three, four, four, seven. So where would the sevens, fours, and threes go, perhaps? Unless the four unless the four is the duplicate. We got a three and a seven. And we gotta find the other number. What if it's zero? Like zero, zero, oh sorry, Oops. like seven, zero, zero, three. Something like that, right? Each column mirrors the one next to it in a way. In what way does it mirror it?
7344. Four. Oh, I see what you're saying. There's some kind of mirroring action going on where the this is mirrored to that and this is mirrored to that. That's not true over here, though. These seem arbitrary to some degree. But the act of, like, threes, fours, and sevens... You know, I didn't notice that until you just brought that up, where... I get you there. That's actually worth experimenting. Seven three four four being these are the those are the numbers that exist here. Seven three four four. It's just which combination of that is it? Like we can start with four, um, four, four, three, seven. Right, that's what exists. So if that's a three and that's a seven, you also go seven, four, three, three, four, or seven. Three. Okay. Up one. Up two. Up three. Are you kidding me? Up one. Up two. Okay, well I see that pattern now, but that is very strange where you take this, these four numbers, shift all of them up one, and that's your result. Take all of these numbers, shift them all up two, and that's your result. And then subsequently, shift all these numbers up three, and that's the result. I would not have thought of that, honestly. At least not very quickly. A good catch on noticing that these were kind of isolated into each other. I was focusing hard horizontally, and nothing was making sense. Which should have led me to believe that there was vertical stuff going on sooner. But I did mention it. A bit of a reach, yeah. I mean, that's putting it lightly. <laughs> okay, we got colors. So you take this pattern and this pattern is part of it. And then it shifts all the way up. This part is all the way up here. So this, turn it 90 and invert it. And then you... So you're saying it's like, it's not saying it's as simple and simple as this, right? No, I didn't think so. But what if we uh, pushed it up? One? These definitely seem to go with each other. These definitely kind of seem to go with each other. These, I would imagine, go with each other. But it's probably the missing dots, possibly, or the invert of that, right? You could try that. Okay, it's not that. What if we just tried shifting them up one at a time? It seems to like to shift things up. All right here, right? Did I do that right? But it also seems to like to rotate. So this one... This is, this. these don't really seem to correspond with each other. It's almost like it wants me to do both this and this to this one, to a degree. Yeah, I appreciate you hanging out, Nick. We uh, we definitely got a couple tag teams in there. Got some stuff figured out. I imagine I might be on this one for a little while. And after this one, we'll hit the halfway mark. I feel like we're this one probably won't take too long. But appreciate having having you show up, hanging out, chatting for a bit. And hope to catch one of your Mario Kart streams soon.
been quite busy with my house, like I said, so we shall see how things go, but take care, man. So this one obviously seems to rotate 90 and invert and then rotate 90 again and invert, but only invert in certain ways. That's weird. I could also try inverting it. So it shifts up, what, three and inverts, which would be this pattern right here. So what if we rotate it and invert it? This is such a weird interaction right here though, between these two. We'll try it, All right, this. I invert it the wrong way. I thought I wanted to go clockwise. Oh, no, no, no. It's... Yeah, yeah, clockwise. Try counterclockwise and inverted. Well, we tried it upside down. Okay. So I think we tried all four, right? We didn't do it in its original colors, though. I mean, if I had to guess, it would have been uh, this one right here. No, 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 there, right? This one. Uh, let's start over. That's that one. That one. Okay. And now we do the upside down one, right? It's upside down. What, what, what causes it to be upside down? So that into that into... Why, why is that? First vertically inverted pattern minus the painted squares of the second pattern. Okay, sure. I mean, I, I, I get it. 
minus the painted squares of the second. Then why are... I mean, I could have just tried that one right out the gate where it was like... Okay, I see it now. All right. There's a fifth one? There's only four options? Da -da, da -da. Uh, up. So it goes up. I mean, it's not as simple as returning to position. So it's on that, turns that down, turns that. That goes that. So why does it, why does the black one flip differently from each other. Oops. Wait, 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 wait. No, that's not right. That goes down, left, up. There. So down, over, flip, over. Oh, that's, spinning a diamond is rude. How do I know which way the diamond's facing? Maybe it'll accept both as both. Um, so we made it to advanced. This one's kind of weird. The suits rotate clockwise on the card and in each position. Flip vertically 90 degrees clockwise, keep position horizontal flip. I felt like they returned to their original positions, but sure. Circle equals 20 times triangle plus 30 times triangle. Square minus circle equals 25 times triangle. So it's just a simple math problem. Is that all this is? So... How high can this go? Up to three numbers. Fifty times triangle. Twenty five times triangle. Twenty five times triangle. Minus It's getting really late
try something. Yeah, circle equals 50 times triangle. Oh, I was thinking of it backwards, that's what I was doing. That's how tired I am. Okay, so that, that. The bottom one's shifted one. Top one stayed the same. Bottom one shifted one. Alright, I think this is where I'm gonna stop. Alright. Wait, what? Oh, progress to the advanced. No? Um, I'm confused at uh, what it means now. This, this game is confusing. Oh, I didn't mean to modify. <laughs> anyway. Level select. Okay, so looks like it keeps my progress. Don't hit new game. 